welcome back to the It's Pretty Random podcast. And for those of you watching on my YouTube channel, hello, nice to see you. If you're all new here, then hello, nice to meet you. My name is Emily. So it is the first Monday in October. And you know what that means? It's spooky season. If you're over on my YouTube channel, you already know that we have started Hallituber, which is where I'm posting a new video every other day in the month of October and it's mostly fall related content. So that is the reason that I am not only recording this podcast, but I'm also filming it for my YouTube channel because I thought it would be really cool to bring the podcast to my channel. So hi, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I'm currently battling a couple of things right now. As soon as I sat down to record, my neighbor started mowing his grass. So if you hear a lawnmower, just know that that is part of my branding now. We just always fight the freaking lawnmowers. We live out in the country and people like to mow their yards. Heck if I know. Also, my camera is currently on like two bars on the uh, battery. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> For the month of October, I wanted to switch things up on the podcast and have like a theme. So there's actually four Mondays in the month of October. And you know what else there's four of? Four Hogwarts houses. So what we are going to do, I have gotten a little bit on each of the houses and we're just going to kind of go through a little bit of the history of the founders of each Hogwarts house. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, then do you live under a rock? Because I'm talking about Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Nine and three quarters. If you're watching the video, you can see my lovely little pillow that I made about two years ago. Yeah. So anyways, I am a big Potterhead and... I'm actually in the house Ravenclaw, if you haven't guessed that already. I would actually, 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 actually love to know what your house is. So be sure if you're on the video, then comment down below what your Hogwarts house is. If you don't know, I'll have a link to um, Pottermore or is it the Wizarding World now? I don't know. But I'll have a link to where you can take the Sorting Hat quiz and find out which house that you're actually in. So since my Hogwarts house is a Ravenclaw, I thought that would be a perfect starting point for this little series. Okay, so let's jump into it. Fun all of my research, for this episode. I got all of my sources from thewizardingworld.com. Let me just start out by reading like the history of how Hogwarts started. Ready? Ready. At some point in the 10th century, four of the greatest witches and wizards that ever lived founded Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Their names were Godric Gryffindor, Rowena Ravenclaw, Helga Hufflepuff, and Salazar Slytherin. As the Sorting Hat told us, their reason for doing so was because they had the self-same yearning to make the world's best magic school. And once they did, each created their own house to represent a personality and skill that they wanted to nurture. Gryffindor students embodied bravery and chivalry, Ravenclaw, intelligence and wit, Hufflepuff, loyalty and fair play, and Slytherin, the values of being sly and cunning. It was built in Scotland away from Muggle eyes. The 10th century was a dangerous time for witches and wizards, who were being persecuted by Muggles hostile to magic. Therefore, Hogwarts was built somewhere in the Scottish Highlands and concealed with numerous charms and spells to make it impossible for Muggles to trespass. For instead of an enormous school, any passing muggle would only see ruins and signs warning them of danger. I I actually did not know until I started doing this research. That I didn't I didn't know that Hogwarts was in Scotland. Don't know if it's mentioned in the books. Don't know if it's mentioned in the movies. And I just overlooked it. It's actually been quite a while since I've read the books, so. There's that. Oops. So anyway, I, th I thought that was interesting. I didn't know it was in Scotland. I guess my little American brain just heard um, British accents and thought that it was in England somewhere, but it's not. It's in the Scottish Highlands, um, just like Outlander. So apparently the universe is just telling me that I need to go to the Highlands in Scotland and explore it. So now let's jump into Rowanna Ravenclaw's history. And it's pretty interesting, okay? It's 
it's a very beautiful story. And her little history on the website goes like this. Rowena Ravenclaw was the greatest witch of her time, a figure famed for her intelligence and wit, and that was before she wore her enchanted diadem, which was said to enhance the wisdom of the wearer. Such a witch cast a long shadow, one her daughter Helena found it difficult to escape from. Envying her mother's status and power, she betrayed her by stealing the diadem, believing it could make her powerful and ran away from Hogwarts. The betrayal embarrassed Rowena, who told no one, including her fellow founders, that the diadem was missing. On her deathbed, she sent a young man to find Helena so she could see her daughter for one last time. That young man, who had been long infatuated with Helena, tracked her down to a forest in Albania, but ended up killing her when she rejected his advances. His real name is unknown, but you'll recognize him by his post-mortem moniker, the Bloody Baron. Rowena Ravenclaw died soon after. Legend has it, the cause of death was broken heart. That's so sad. My mom and I, we have butted heads throughout my entire life. We're just... We're so similar in some ways and so different in other ways, but no matter what, like, I always knew that she was going to be there. I always knew that I was going to be there for her. Like, I could not imagine that, that, like, leaving your mom. I know that it happens. Listen, I'm not ignorant, but I know that it happens. I know there's certain circumstances. There's a lot of stories out there. There's a lot of sides to a lot of stories out there, but as for me... Um, even though me and my mom butt heads so many times, I never once thought of like running away with her diadem and just never coming back. And I don't know, it just, it breaks my heart to know that, um, her story is that she ended up dying of a broken heart or legend has it. Oh, Helena here. Let's check her out. So, Helena, actually, in the last movie, um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, she still has the diadem. I don't think she tells anybody, maybe, I don't know. But my favorite character, Miss Luna Lovegood, who I did sit in the same room with, Ivana Lynch, I sat in the same room with her at Dragon Con one year. He gets some advice from Luna to go and see the Grey Lady. And if you haven't figured it out, the Grey Lady is Helena. I think that's actually said. It is. It's definitely said. Because I remember she says something about her mother and da 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 da. It's a bunch about just Helena. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can find. Oh, okay. Listen. Having fallen... Having fallen fatally ill on and on her deathbed, Rowena desperately asked the Bloody Baron, who was deeply in love with Helena, to find her daughter and bring her back to her so that she could see her one last time. Helena tried to hide it from him, but the Baron managed to track her down to a forest in Albania when she had heard the Baron... Oh, <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of this. Okay. When she heard the... Baron blundering through the forest toward her, she hid the diadem inside a hollow tree. Helena refused to come with the Baron and rejected his affections, and he stabbed her in a fit of rage. After seeing what he had done, remorseful of his action, he stabbed himself to death. Helena, Helena, known as the Grey Lady, returned from the dead as a ghost along with the Baron. They both returned to the Hogwarts castle, where they became the house ghost of their former houses, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The Baron has been remorseful of his actions ever since and carries heavy chains as a sign of penance. Nobody nobody else seems to know why both of them died, nor why the Baron is covered in blood, not even the other Hogwarts ghost. According to Ravenclaw prefect Robert Hillard, while the, while the most... While the most of the school... While most of the school sees the Grey Lady as a timid ghost, she maintains a good relationship with members of her own house and is particularly useful if they were lost. I feel like this last part is written so terribly, so I'm not even gonna read that. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. I don't know how to like tie this all like up in a pretty bow at the end of it because... I don't know, but I think that's super interesting. So 
Next week, we may just explore Slytherin and just go off of the Bloody Baron, learn some more about him, and see what what everything entails about the good old house of Slytherin. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to leave me a five-star rating and be sure to subscribe to the podcast. That way you don't miss an episode. And if you're on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there is a new video coming out every other day in the month of October. And if you want to see a foreshadow of what videos are to come, then go check out my Instagram at mbecca, E-M-B-E-C-C-A-A-A, and go to my page, look at my highlights. There's one that's called Halituber 2020, and I actually am just like previewing what videos are coming out this next week. That way, that way you can know which ones you want to tune into and which ones you want to skip. Hopefully you want to tune into every single one of them, but let's be realistic here. And if there's anything that you want to know in next week's episode for the Slytherin episode, then DM me over on Instagram and I will try to figure some stuff out. So today's Bible verse to end this podcast comes from John and it's uh, chapter 1 verse 5. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. That reminds me a lot of what Dumbledore told the Harry, so I thought it was a perfect way to tie in this episode. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, this video, however you were enjoying this content. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please let me know. Thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel and the podcast, five-star rating, leave me a review, Uh, Comment down below what your house is and if you want to leave a com leave a leave your house in the review that you leave on the podcast for those of you watching the video my camera just it died so (laughs) I've just pulled up um, my webcam so this is how we're ending the video but for Everybody, thank you so much for listening. Let's get into Slytherin next week. I'm very excited. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And yeah, bye guys.